All right, this is going to be an update video of the reptile room for the month of August. Uh, if you're familiar with my videos at all, the first thing you'll notice is this tank right here. Uh, I just built this. This is my, for my Savannah monitor. He used to be in a 10-gallon um, a tank, and he just outgrew that. So I built him this, and it's uh, 30. It's three feet by like a foot and a half deep by a foot and a half tall. So it's got about three or four inches of dirt for him to dig in. There's his water bowl. And then I got a shelf up there. And there he is there. What's up, buddy? He's very perceptive. Every time I open the door, he thinks he's going to get fed, though. But I did figure out that with this type of cage, um, with the cage opening up in the front, that uh, coming from the front to grab him instead of coming from the top like I was in uh, the 10 gallon tank he's getting a lot better with the tail whipping and everything he doesn't do it nearly as much as he used to so that's good uh, this is my female diamond coastal she's doing all right um, hopefully she'll actually go for me this year I tried last year that didn't turn out uh, there's my female normal she's doing good as well nice and fat That's just a normal male ball python. Uh, that's actually my cousin's fiancés I'm watching for them. Here is my other female boa. She is het for albino. And that's prob probably the next thing that I'm going to be doing is getting another 4 foot by 2 foot cage um, for her. Because this little 41 quart is just not big enough for her at all. And then we got my male head for albino boa. There's my hypo. And then down at the bottom we have my uh, male diamond coastal. And if there's stuff in any of the cages, just ignore that. I'm still in the middle of cleaning everything this weekend. I haven't finished that yet. Get back in there. And then on this side this is my female um, female yellow belly. Uh, hopefully she'll be up to size to breed this year. Uh, I think she's she's right around 1200 grams right now so hopefully she'll get up there. And then these next two are proven breeders that I just got uh, probably two months ago. And they're doing all right. They're putting weight back on pretty well. Hopefully both of them will uh, put on enough weight to go for me this year. Here's the bigger one. She's, I think she's right around 2,300 grams right now. And then the top two right here are my wild caught females. And... Here's the other one. And this one's also a wild caught female. And all of them are doing pretty well. They're eating alright. What do we got up here? Uh, this one's just a normal female. She's not eating very well. I just moved her into this smaller tub to see if she'd start eating better. And surprisingly, she did eat for the first time in, I don't know, a month and a half. So. Hopefully that works out. Here is my female pastel. She's in shed right now, so I'm not going to pull her out. Uh, here's my male yellow belly. And he's sitting right at about 450. 450 grams, so he should definitely go for me uh, this year. I'll get you back in there. And then... This one's the angry little fucking female ball python that's not eating again. I don't know what her problem is. This is my male black pastel. He's eating pretty well. I think he's at like 350. So there's a possibility he could breed for me this season as well. Uh, there's my spider male. Clearly he's a breeding size. There's another normal male. 
And then this is my female um, jungle carpet. I moved her back into here from a 41 quart because she stopped eating as soon as I moved her into a 41 quart. And I put her back in there and she started eating again. So I'm going to keep her in there for a while. What do we got in here? Oh, uh, this is another wild caught female. And she's eating okay. And then we got. There we are. There's my green tree. And she's doing a lot better from when she had mites you know, a couple months ago. She's eating real well. Getting nice, uh, clean, full sheds from her. So I'm happy about that. And she just ate today, so I'm not going to get her out. I don't feel like getting tagged. Uh, but yeah, that's the update for this month. Hopefully by next month, maybe I'll have that cage in. I'm not sure yet. Got to see how uh, how everything goes, how long it takes to get it shipped and all that stuff. But uh, tune in next month. See you.